So how many of you just wish you had one preset that could cover a couple of guitars, such as a Strat and a Les Paul? Well, I've got a preset here for you for the Line 6 Pod Go, and it is a four snapshot preset. We have a clean for Strat, a drive for Strat, a clean for Les Paul, and drive for Les Paul. So let's check it out. So here's how my uh, Strat drive sounds. <laughs> All right. In the description box below, you can download this preset for free from the custom tone area on the Line 6 website. Now, this is just kind of a starting off point. I just dialed in a clean and a drive for both Strat and Les Paul. And I was like, okay, I'm going to use snapshots because that's the best way to do it. Now, I've also designed it with the volume pedal in mind for a lead boost. So, you know, you can tilt the volume down. Here's normal volume. So let's cut it. There, so that could work as your boost for any of these snapshots, okay? Let's start with the clean, all right? And I'll do a quick walkthrough and I'll play each one. We'll switch guitars. I'll definitely strap on a Les Paul so you can hear it. So let's start with the whole rigmarole here, the amp. This is where I started with. So I thought, well, let's use the Line 6 Litigator. I guess I believe that's their, uh, you know, as people would say, the, a Dumble style. But I figured it could get gritty enough that it can cover um, nice you know, typical Strat tones, but also with some right pushing that it can uh, also do justice to a Les Paul. And in order to achieve that, besides the litigator, another key piece is the cabinet. And I always love 412 greenback cabinets. I think they sound great. All right. And then we have a lot of snapshot controllers. So let's, let's, um, let's play through each um, tone here. And then we'll do a quick little looky of what I've done here and what's changed. Okay, so, but for basic setup, you know, always I have the uh, input gate on, especially for single coil strats. The wah, I have a drive, it's a horizon drive. Um, didn't really do bother with the mono effects loop. The amp, as I said, litigator, and you know, we have, the, the, you know, any from the drive to the master, they're all affected by snapshots because these parameters are gonna change. So for just a general example, when I have clean, usually the channel volume's up and I have the drive and master down. And vice versa, when I have dirt, I turn the channel volume down and up the master and up the drive, and then I'll kick in the, the horizon drive pedal. But you can check all these in more detail if you choose to download this preset. And the beauty of this is too, you can you know go ahead and tweak this or replace the drive if you don't like this drive or change the parameters that suits you, your gear. Like, you know, I'm gonna be using a PRS Silver Sky SE and then I'm gonna have my Gibson, um, 2016 um, 50s tribute uh, studio so your gear may may nine times out of ten it's going to sound a lot different so okay so just keep that in mind when you download this but uh, use this as a starting off point all right and then we have some you know we have some modulation the typical stuff standard stuff that i figured you could use this for you know a typical top 40 rock gig or you know r b pop perhaps blues whatever all right, so we have some chorus in there. Now another key, another key ingredient for tone shaping is the 10 band graphic EQ. And they're definitely all these parameters, they, they change per snapshot and it's tailored to what I'm accomplishing, whether it's clean or drive and for which guitar I'm using. Okay, got the volume pedal at this point. I didn't put it at the end. I thought I would leave the delay. Uh, has some snapshot um, parameter changes on it as well. And I, and I thought I'd leave that and the reverb after the volume trails on all right so i've talked enough let's hear it so let's go to strat clean here we go All right, Strat Drive, you heard it at the top of the vid, let's play it again.
right, Strat and Drive. Okay, let's switch to the Les Paul. All right, Les Paul. Okay, let's do Les Paul clean. Okay, let's Paul clean and this I wanted just to kind of reiterate like this 10 band graphic EQ was so key. I mean, I did change some parameters on the amp, of course. And the cabinet not so much. You know what I did? Actually, I changed mics. I used a, a, a SM57 for the uh, Strat ones and for these snapshots I find I like the ribbon, a 160 ribbon because I don't find it's as dark sounding as the 121 or the 4038 ribbon i like this one the best for my ears but i think it sounds great with the greenback but that was that's a big changing factor too i mean you're between the amp cab and the eq alone you can shape your tone in so many different ways and then the rest is bells and whistles is, you know the dirt the modulation delay that's just all gravy icing on the cake whatever other cliche i can throw at you okay but the 10 band for fine tuning man and this was key to getting these these sounds all right, so maybe the one that you've all been waiting for, or you're just hoping to get to the end of this video, let's do the Les Paul Drive. <laughs> Well, there you have it. So this just goes to show you, um, I'm not a big snapshot user. If, if you've watched any of my videos in the past or a, a good number of them, you know, I like to use the uh, PodGo more in like a stomp box mode because I, I would like to use it, you know, I have used it with power cab, other FRFRs, a PA speaker, but I still prefer a good old tube amp and love using this in that manner as a stomp box in a sense or a pedal board but also for home use i totally love the amp and cab sims so um for a live situation though for those who like this kind of setup and maybe that's what you bring to your gig maybe bringing two different guitars it doesn't have to be a strat and les paul it could be what a telly or a strat or a telly and whatever else like an ibanez whatever but use your snapshots obviously we're stuck with these blocks but with some you know some experimentation with amps matching different amps and cabs together and definitely use that dedicated eq block you don't have to use the 10 band graphic maybe you want to use a quality or maybe you want to hone in on parametric uh frequencies whatever whatever your ears need to hear to get your result just don't ignore the eq block especially if you're going to do something like this because this i think this sounds pretty good these these four um let's call them four presets in one right like so there you go just shows you how easy it can be but again download it from the custom tone area link below in the description box and tweak to how your ears here fit so thanks very much for watching i appreciate all the returning viewers the new viewers the subscribers please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and feel free to drop a comment below on um anything and you know all feedback is good and let me know what kind of content you want to see on this channel i mean i can do some more artist presets do you want some more functionality stuff or do you just want some some more presets like this just you know, make up some nice presets for y'all all right take care we'll catch you in the next video